Welcome back to my fruit thing. Recently, I purchased Dr. Morse's GI broom along with stomach and bowel tonic too. Both in capsule form. And I decided to get those because I have had digestive problems pretty much my entire life. And even though I've been on fruit for the last 11 months, I'm still having some elimination issues. And I'm not feeling like I'm totally cleaning out yet, um, which is what I'm going after. I'm going for detoxification and um, the clearing out of my system so that I can have better absorption of my nutrients and be on my way to eliminating my health problems. So early on in my journey, I did purchase a Dr. Morse's Adrenal Tonic Capsules and that is for the adrenal glands. Most of us have adrenal gland weaknesses in one way or another, and um, I know I do, and so that's one reason why I wanted to get the protocol. And it took me about 30 days to finish it, and I did that a few months ago. In addition to that, I also did Parasite G, which I bought because I've been having candida problems for a really, really long time and um, not fun and it was only getting worse and I knew I needed to do something. So after I did the adrenal tonic capsules and the Parasite G, I decided to start working on my kidney and bladder, my kidneys and bladder, and my lymphatic system. And so that's when I purchased the Lymphatic Tonic 1 and the Kidney and Bladder Tonic 1. And I got those because another one of my problems was UTI type symptoms. Weaknesses in my urinary tract for sure. That's something I really, really needed to work on and, and I did that um, as well a few months ago. So those are the things that I've done in the last 11 months. I've taken it really slow. I don't believe in taking a whole bunch of product at the same time. I wanted to do, you know, one or two at a time and um, not, you know, overload my system too much. You know, herbs can become really toxic in your system and you don't want to overdo it. Um, also, in between protocols, I rest from herbs. Um, I will, you know, take the protocol for about 30 days and then I will rest. I will spend a couple weeks just eating fruit, clearing my system out, and then I'll go to the next one. And that's pretty much how I've been doing it. Like I said, I don't want to bombard my system. I don't think it's beneficial to do that. So always, in my opinion, when you're taking herbs, you're going to want to, you know, take your herbs, do your protocols, but then remember, you know, every four to six weeks, you're going to want to take a break on your herbs and just flush the system, eat lots of high water content fruits as usual, and then just allow your body to heal, allow the fruits to do what they do best. And allow your body to do what it does best, which is detoxify and regenerate your cells and heal you. Because that is what your body is constantly trying to do. It's constantly trying to heal. But the problem is we don't allow it to because we're eating all of this meat and dairy and toxic food and cooked food, which is toxic in itself and um, just not, not good at all. So lately I've been taking the stomach and bowel tonic too. I did start taking these and um, it seems to be helping. Um, I'm curious to see how well I do with it. Um, my plan is to take the stomach and bowel tonic too for the next, for the rest of this week. Um, well, definitely I'm going to finish the bottle, but I want to take it for a week by itself before I decide to incorporate the GI broom. That way I kind of get a feel for how my body's reacting to it and, um, and you know, when I should really start taking the GI broom. I've heard it's pretty powerful. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I've heard that it is a powerful intestinal cleanser. So like always, I just want to proceed with caution. I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt me. 
Um, so just like anything else, you want to take it slow. You want to you know, know what you're doing um, and pay attention to your body. Listen to your body is the most important thing. So like I said, it's been 11 months since I decided to implement a raw vegan fruitarian diet. And I started doing this to eliminate my thyroid nodules, first and foremost. Also, I needed to lose weight. I also needed to work on eliminating my candida as well as improving my kidney and bladder um, functions. You know, I um, noticed um, years ago that I had tremendous weaknesses in these areas and those are definitely something I needed to work on and I will continue to work on that. Um, there's no quick fix. This is something that's going to take a while. Um, we have to be patient with ourselves, patient with our body. Remember, our body wants to heal. We just have to put the right things in it, provide it with the, pro the right um, environment and conditions, and then, you know, miracles will happen. So, so far so good. You know, the, I respond pretty well to the herbs. No adverse reactions. You know, I'm not allergic to anything. And um, they seem to be pretty good formulas. I consider them to be high quality. I think Dr. Morris really put a lot of thought and effort into making these these protocols. And if I were to buy all the herbs separately myself and then make these formulas myself, it, it would cost a lot more and I'd have way too much product that I probably wouldn't even ever use. So it's really not that expensive, especially considering you're investing in your health. Um, I can't afford a whole lot of product, but when I do get something, I want it to be something that's really going to benefit me and something that I can put to good use. So when I'm not taking any of these um, formulas, I'm usually consuming my Heal All Tea along with my licorice root, parsley, um, extract that I made. It's excellent for the urinary tract as well as some dandelion leaf. I've read that that is also an excellent herb for the urinary tract and um, so those are some of the things I've been doing but while I'm taking these protocols I don't do the heal all tea. I don't like to do too much. So um, I'm off the, the heal all tea for right now while I take my um, stomach and bowel formula and then I will also incorporate my GI broom there too and then after I'm finished with those I'll probably most definitely um, take a break from the herbs for a while and just eat fruit and just enjoy you know um, a fruitarian diet and clear my system of any um, toxicities that may have built up because of the herbs and then um, we'll see what my body says. We'll see what um, what I need to work on next. And um, I'm big on listening to my body. So when my body says, look, you know what, work on your urinary tract, that's what I do. When my body says work on those stomach and bowels, that's what I do. Through this 11 month process, I have learned better ways to listen to my body. Um, I haven't taken any Tylenol in 11 months. Um, I haven't really had many headaches. There was a couple of times where I had really bad headache, but I think that that was just from just being in this detoxification um, program. But I managed to avoid taking any Tylenol, which is excellent. I don't want to take anything like that. Now, if I could go back a few months and do these herbal formulas all over again, I think what I would do is start with the stomach and bowels and the GI broom because I'm starting to realize that maybe the herbs could be more effective if my intestines were cleared to begin with, if um, I detoxed more to begin with. Um, I'm kind of feeling that way like if my bowels were clear that I would be able to get more out of the herbs that I'm purchasing. But this is how I've, I've done it. I've, I've just tried to um, listen to my body and just deal with the different issues as they come came along. 
eating 100% fruit diet. That's really not that hard. It's actually pretty fun to go to the store and, you know, go to farmer's markets and different places like that and, you know, get good fruit that I can eat. Um, the biggest challenge I see that I have been experiencing is in the social department. Um, just eating a diet that is so different from everybody else and then trying to explain it to other people and they just really don't understand and don't get it and you know that can be kind of a lonely place at times but you know I'm used to being the outcast I'm used to being the one who thinks differently and does things differently so I'm okay with that um, it just is it is challenging to you know be in social situations when there's cooked food around that you don't want to eat but you might be tempted to um, but overall it's a, been a great experience I'm definitely continuing continuing this um, learning more and more and more as I go along um, I'm still el trying to eliminate some of those addictions that I have to cooked foods but every day it gets better and better and better and I look forward to a long, healthy life as a raw vegan fruitarian. I've also been trying to do a little bit of a dry fast every night. So so about 8, 9 o'clock in the evening I stop consuming until about 11, 12 o'clock the next day. And that gives me a you know nice 12 to 15 hour dry fasting period every night. And I feel like that is benefiting me quite a bit. So I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if um, you haven't already. If you are subscribed, thank you very much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you have any questions about the Dr. Morse herbal formulas or any other question about um, becoming a raw vegan fruitarian, I'd be happy to answer those. Um, please check the description below because there are links to my social sites where you can connect with me. I am really active on Instagram and I share a lot of my my fruit meals and my shopping trips and things like that on there. So if you're interested in a fruitarian diet and how to go about it and what things, what foods we buy and what types of things that we eat, then definitely check out my Instagram. Also, there's a link to my blog with an informative article about um, diverticulitis. I know a lot of people are suffering with that and um, I think you might find the article helpful in um, getting started with um, your protocols. And so with that being said, um, stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next video. God bless.